It's 9.30 a.m. in the morning and after breakfast we stop by at a Happy Mart to rent our first bike in Malaysia. Daily it's 35 ringgit, but if you take for a few days, then they give you a little bit of a discount. We're taking the bike for four days to drive around Langkawi Island, so it came down to 30 ringgit a day, which is about 10 bucks. Don't forget to bring your passport and driving license, as well as a little bit extra cash, because you will need all those documents to fill out the paperwork, and every company takes a little bit of a deposit. So for us, it was 50 ringgit deposit, which you get back if you return the bike safely. We're about to embark on our first adventure in Lankavi, and our first stop will be Lankavi Cable Cars. The ride to Lankavi Skycap was easy and fun. It took us about 30 minutes to get there, considering there was no traffic as we left early in the morning. There are two entrances with parking lots, one at the northeast and the other one at the southwest. That's where we parked our motorbike. On the way to Skycap, we've entered the Oriental Village. It is located at the foothills of the mountain from where the Skycap ride begins. Jax is like a true traveler in heavy duty shoes, heat gear, shirts. Look at this get up. Nah! <laughs> Oriental Village is one of the largest outdoor shopping and entertainment malls in Lankavi. It offers great variety of activities, souvenir stores, cafes and restaurants. It is also a base station of Skycap where you can buy your ticket. I think we're gonna go with the basic package. It includes Skydome and Skyrax. It's 45 uh, mirror a person, which is about 15. This cable car will take us to the last station, which uh, from there we pay a little bit of fee and go on to the Sky Bridge, which is our final destination for today. We've got our adult tickets for 45 ringgit. They're so sticky. Here we go. Now we can do the Sky Train. Drinks and even water are not allowed in the gondolas. But don't worry, there is a cafe all the way at the top station offering food and refreshments. Skycap is one of the steepest cable car rides in the world, and it takes about 15 minutes to reach the top of the mountain Machichang. The breathtaking views from the gondola will leave you speechless and wishing for a longer ride to take all those pictures views in. On the way to the top, we first reached the middle station. Here we had an option of stepping out of the gondola onto the first observation deck before continuing our journey. We got to the top station around 11 o'clock. Lucky us, at that time there were only a few people here. We got a chance to enjoy the top observation deck pretty much all to ourselves for a good 20 minutes. This allowed us to truly appreciate the beauty of this place in less crowded environment. While at the top station, you can check out few other places. One is Sky Boutique Gift Shop, the other one is Sky Bistro Restaurant, where you can grab a drink and snack, sit relax and enjoy the beautiful view. The top station is located at an elevation of 708 meters above the sea level. It has two observation decks, one overlooks the sky bridge and both provide an unforgettable panoramic view of Lankavi. You might want to check out weather conditions while planning your trip to Skycap. Clear weather makes it a great place to take some of the most fascinating photos. But if you're a drone enthusiast, you're in for disappointment since flying drones are not allowed here. In order to get to the sky bridge, you can either choose a beautiful but at times challenging walk through the jungle, which will take you about 10 minutes depending on your pace, or take a sky glide, which will get you there in just 2 minutes. To get to the sky bridge, it's 15 ringgit per person, and you need to take a little box looking like elevator that goes down the tracks. So we're on it right now, and we just arrived. Thank you. 
We made it to the Sky Bridge. It's among the longest suspended bridges in the world. It's 125 meters long, and the view from here, it's breathtaking. Did you enjoy the experience? It was okay. It's very impressive and emotional and overwhelming. It's nice. It's nice up here if you're not afraid of heights. It's quite trippy if you're looking down. We really not this much. We really enjoyed our visit to Skybridge. It was really amazing and emotional. Why, is, why was it emotional? Because it's emotional. You see, see. On our way back to the top station, we decided to challenge ourselves. Instead of Skyglide, we took the mountain track through the jungle. Hey, monkey. What? It says I'm not supposed to tease you. How you doing? We were pretty much the only ones walking up, and I gotta say, it wasn't an easy walk. Even though it took us only about 10 minutes, the trail was pretty steep at times. Will this ever end? After spending most of our day at the park, we hopped on our bike and went to check out New Beach. It's called Tanjung Ru. It took us about 30 minutes to get there and we made it just before the sunset. We had a great day at the beach, and on the way to the hotel, I had a huge craving for a nice cold glass of beer. So, we decided to stop at a local joint. It's called Scarborough Fish and Chips. And according to the reviews, they have one of the best fish and chips on the island. So we just ordered deep fried snowfish and pan fried mackerel. Both of them came up to about 75 ringgit which is definitely the most expensive meal that we've eaten so far in uh, Lankavi, but we're gonna give it a try and hopefully they are the best. Cheers. The sun is setting and we just received our dinner. So we're having dinner with the view. I got my deep fried snowfish with some uh, fried prawns and uh, chips and salad and we have fried mackerel for jacks. Looks delicious. Let's dig in.